Simulan mong abutin ang iyong pangarap Na magbibigay danga sa iyong bukas Ang suliranin Hindi laging nandyan dapat mong harapin Kami iyong kasama sa bawat takin Magkaakbay nating lulutasin Dito sa Gagabay sa iyong pagkamulat Naway umukit ito sa iyong isipan Maging mapanuri Sundin ang wasto at nararapat Kagandahang nasal ang ipakita Ipadama ang pusong may malasakit Dito sa Fernandino Ating harapin ng walang takot Sasamahan ka ni Fernan At dino ang bagong barkada mo Fernandino Tint TV Guys, alam nyo na ba na ang mga manunulat ay madalas na gumagamit ng mga pagkakatulad upang maipaliwanag ang isang bago o hindi pamilyar na konsepto sa pamamagitan ng paggamit ng isang pangkaraniwan o pamilyar na bagay? How analogies shape our thoughts ito ang paksang tatalakay ng ating teacher lecturer sa araw na ito. Ano kaya ang kahalagahang dulot nito sa mga mamabasa tulad nating mga Fernandino Teens? Bukod pa diyan, ating mapatutunayan sa pamamagitan ng paksa ngayon kung ang mga sumusunod ay may katotohanan. Una, nakatutulong ang analogy upang maunawaan ng mas mahusay ang bagong ideya sa anumang binabasa. At ikalawa, ay marapat lamang nabigyan ng sapat na atensyon ang paksang ito dahil nasasanay tayong mga mag-aaral sa paggamit ng lohika sa isang argumento. Atin ang panoorin ng ating gurong tagapagdaloy ngayong araw. Tara! Let's watch and learn! Let's watch and learn! Ever tried? Ever failed? No matter, try again. Fail again. Fail better. So quote a writer. English language is truly a work in progress. Making mistakes is a natural part of the language learning process. The key is to learn from these mistakes. Today is a fun-filled journey to learning. Do not be afraid to try out new things in English, but always remember to reflect on them and decide what was successful and what you need to keep working on. Good day, dear students. Welcome to Fernandino Teens TV Season 2. I'm Mom Ida De La Torre, your language teacher for today. 
In three emoticons, kindly describe how you find your experiences in modular distant learning. Drop your answers in the comment box below. Some of you may have answered happy, frustrated, and angry emoticons. Do not be disheartened because for today's webinar titled, How Analogies Shape Our Thoughts, we are going to enjoy our journey to learning. Meanwhile, we will focus on one of the most essential learning competencies, which is supplying other words or expressions that complete an analogy. The learning objectives which will support our MELC for today are Number 1. Figure out the relationship of the analogy presented. 2. Verify an argument through a simple analogy. And number 3. Supply other words or expressions that complete an analogy. Do not forget to put beside you a dictionary that could help you figure out the meaning of the difficult words you will encounter. Later in the following activities, please write your answers in the comment box below. Now, it is time for you to get involved using your English skills. Let us make time to enjoy speaking English by answering the following questions. What is an atom exactly? Is it like a solar system or is it like a bunch of balloons smashed together? And how does the brain work? Is it like clockwork or more like streamworks? Or maybe it is a computer? Or is it that the computer is like a brain? We use analogies all the time, and mostly we think nothing of it. Which means we actually use analogies all the time informally. In conversation, when you compare one situation to another, you are using an analogy. Is it not enjoyable to learn and practice what you learn? Well, English truly has always been one of the official languages of the Philippines and is spoken by more than 14 million Filipinos. It is the language of commerce and law, as well as the primary medium of instruction in education. Nicholas Thomas, country director of the British Council Philippines, says that English has a distinctive place in the Philippine education system, and retaining high standards of English is critically important for the country's economy and future development. English may be a difficult language to master, and two of the many reasons are these features that make it a powerful language its flexibility and its large vocabulary. One of the most common ways of learning vocabularies is through analogies. And today's milk will surely aid one of the difficulties the Filipino learners encounter in learning the English language that is dealing with English vocabularies. What is an analogy? An analogy is a comparison of two otherwise unlike things based on resemblance of a particular aspect. For example, This analogy is read aloud as Tree is to leaf as flower is to petal. This analogy highlights the relationship between the whole, a tree and the flower, and its parts a leaf and a petal. On test of logic, one portion of the analogy is left blank and students are left to choose an answer that makes sense to complete the comparison. To illustrate, let us have the example. Dog is to poppy as cat is to blank. To solve the analogy, you must first determine the relationship between the dog and the poppy. Once you realize that a poppy is a baby dog, you can find the corresponding relationship for a cat. What do you call the baby of a cat? It is a kitten. So the completed analogy is, dog is to poppy as cat is to kitten. 
often used as multiple choice question items or as warm-ups to begin a lesson. Analogies are used in teaching and learning processes because of their flexibility, ease of use, and tendency to force cognitive load on students. Also, academic analogies are useful for teaching and learning because they require students to analyze a thing and then transfer that analysis to another thing. You will find word analogies in standardized tests and sometimes in job interviews when you must show the relationship between two objects or concepts using logic and reasoning. These analogies are set up in a standard format. A is to B as C is to D. Though there is no limit to the possibilities when it comes to word analogies, here are some examples to familiarize yourself with the concept. Please join me as I read the following analogies. Hammer is to nail, as comb is to hair. White is to black, as up is to down. Short is to long, as light is to heavy. Like is to love, as dislike is to hate. Douglas Hofstadter and Emmanuel Sander wrote in their book, Surfaces and Essences, analogy as the fuel and fire of thinking, that analogy is a key issue for cognition and perception. They put analogy into the center of all mental tools. Analogy is a powerful tool, but it is a tool beside others. It is true that for English as second language learners, like Filipino students, English is a difficult language to master. While similes, metaphors, and analogies are alike in that they all compare to different things, Similes and metaphors are figures of speech, while an analogy is more akin or similar to a logical argument. A logical argument can be defined as a form of reasoning that attempts to establish the truth of one claim, called a conclusion, based on the assumed truth of the evidence in other claims, called premises, provided to support the conclusion. Well, how do we respond to life's challenges using analogies? Let us discuss this further when we return after this short break. Please stay tuned! Ang Schools Division Office City of San Fernando, Pampanga ay kaisa ng Department of Education sa pagsasagawa ng mga proyekto at programa na tumutugon sa mga pangangailangan ng mga mag-aaral. Inilunsad ang Division Call Center for Tutors and Guidance Counselors upang magbigay ng educational at psychological assistance sa mga mag-aaral, magulang at stakeholders ng division. Kaya, kung may nais kayong itanong tungkol sa pag-aaral, maaaring magpadala ng mensahe sa Division Call Center for Tutors and Guidance Counselors Facebook page o tumawag sa mga numero na makikita sa ibaba ng inyong screen. Tuwing lunes hanggang biyernes, sa ganap na alas 8 ng umaga hanggang alas 6 ng gabi. Maaari rin kayong sumangguni sa ating guidance counselors na nagbibigay ng guidance and counseling services. Lahat ng inyong ibabahagi ay mananatiling confidential. Ang nasabing programa ay nagsisilbiling daan upang malaman ang feedbacks ng stakeholders para matulungan ang ating division na mapagbuti pa ang mga sumusunod na programa. Ano pang hinihintay ninyo? Tumawag na sa aming mga numero o bumisita na sa aming Facebook page at magpadala ng inyong mga katanungan. Fernandino Teens TV As the result of millions of years of evolution, our brains are exquisitely tuned pattern matching machines. When faced with unfamiliar object or event, we are wired to fit what we see to stored patterns, experiences, or interactions we have had before. 
and knowledges form the basis for our everyday problem solving. They help us shape our thoughts. Are you up for a challenge? Let us have task number one. Supply other words or expressions that complete the analogy. Type your answer in the chat box. For example, blank is to mountain as sand is to rock. A. Hill B. C. The answer is A. Hill. Well then, the complete analogy is Hill is to mountain as sand is to rock. Do not forget the A is to B as C is to D pattern. Are you ready? Let's get started. Number one. Blank is to sing as walk is to dance. Choices are A. Speak B. Sound If your answer is A. Speak you are correct. The analogy then becomes, speak is to sing, as walk is to dance. Number two, bees is to blank, as dogs is to bite. Choices are, A, buzzer, B, sting. Did you answer B, sting? You are right. The analogy is read as bees is to sting as dogs is to bite. The last item would be heel is to blank as build is to engineer. Options are A. Doctor B. Teacher Did you say A. Doctor? Precisely. The analogy is then read as Heal is to doctor as build is to engineer. You are doing a great job so far. But how were you able to figure out the analogies? Your guess is as good as mine. You tried to determine the relationship between pairs of words, did you not? To be able to work on analogies better without relying on guessing, let us try to understand and remember that several relationships between pairs of words are possible. Expect relations such as these in the song titled Analogy Relationships to the tune of the popular Kapampangan Fox song Atin Kupong Sing Sing. For this part, let's call in Jolly Joe! Ating kupong sing-sing, metong yang timpukan, amala keiti, kang indong ibatan, sang kang keng sininuk, king metong akaban, mewalaya iti, eko kamalayan. Common Types of Analogy Relationship Song to the tune of one of the most famous Kapampangan folk songs, Atin Kupong Sing Sing. Antonyms are words that have opposite meaning, such as big is too small and long is too short. On the other hand, we have synonyms, words that have same meaning, such as buys to purchase. Descriptive type in which one word describes the other word, such as blue to ocean. Here is another one, or to whole relationship. Such as heart to body and will to bicycle. The type cause and effect, but result of an event, such as fire is to scorch and blizzard is to freeze. Things and their functions, such as scissors to cut, cell phone to communicate, 
elevate and elevate or to live when one word is greater or more intense than the other this is degree and knowledge such as lukewarm to boiling and the less but not the least cold product to producer such as web to spider and lantern is to Ang sukaling lub ko, susukdol king banwa, pikuros kong gamat, paboning lamesa, ninumang manakit, king sing sing kong mana. Thank you. Did you enjoy the song? Let us do a wrap up of the analogy relationships. Join me. Antonyms. Synonyms. Descriptive. Part to whole, cause and effect, things and their functions, degree of intensity, and product to producer. Now, let us do task number two. This time, let us figure out the type of relationship present in the given pair of words before we decide for the missing word or expression. Here is number one. Apple is to blank as Sampagita is to white. What type of relationship is present? A. Cause and effect. B. Descriptive relationship. C. Object and its user. If you answered descriptive relationship, you are correct. Now, Figure out the correct word to complete the analogy. A. Red B. Round C. Shiny The answer is A. Red I bet you got it right. Apple is described to be red and Sampagita to be white. Let us move to item number two. Blank is to carpenter as sword is to blacksmith. What type of relationship is present? A. Degree of intensity. B. Descriptive type. C. Product producer. Did you choose C. Product producer? You are absolutely correct. The analogy choices are A. Metal. B. Table C. Tools The analogy is table is to carpenter, as sword is to blacksmith. The table is made by the carpenter, while the sword is made by the blacksmith. One of the many benefits of using analogies is expanding and deepening vocabulary. This time, let us learn new vocabularies through this last item. You better open your dictionary now to unlock difficult words. 3. Clean is to immaculate, as rare is to blank. What type of relationship is present? A. Part to whole relationship. B. Synonyms. C. Thing and its function. It's letter B, synonyms. Now, complete the analogy. Choices are Letter A, favorable. B, consistent. C, infrequent. It is clean is to immaculate, as rare is to infrequent. Clean is the synonym of immaculate, while rare is the synonym of infrequent. Do you want more? I will definitely give you more tasks later. Note that analogies are best solved by creating a sentence that accurately captures the truest and best essence of the relationship of the first two items in the analogy. To exemplify, you might say the bricks used to be used to create roads, at which point all kinds of possibilities emerge, such as 
bricks used to be used to create roads, as glass used to be used to create bottles, yielding the analogy. Bricks is the road as gloss is to bottle. Did you know that analogies are used to enhance critical reasoning? You will learn more about analogies when Fernandino Teens TV returns. Stay tuned! Maya po oras kaya kayo, Fernandinos. Ako pala ay Elwin Arlserano ng City Tourism Office ng Ciudad San Fernando. Ngayon yung bulan na ini, pag masusyan tayo yung National Heritage Month, nating na temang Victory and Humanity, Upholding Filipino Heritage and Identity. Kambe na nini, metong ka rin aktibidades na ng syudad, atin ng launching ng Bayong Heritage Passport. Ng Heritage Passport, atin ng metong ka rin proyekto ng kaya katamong syudad, yung paman na muna ng Mayor Edwin D. Santiago. Anong no ka rin makalagelangan din eganagan ng heritage sites, heritage structures, na akit ta mo kin kaya ka heritage district. Makakaya daw din kaya ni, ding importansya daw ding mapin na tradisyon, kaya ni syudad, kalupa na ning pamangawang parol, ang po yung pamangalesa. May aho siyang heritage passport, uling atin kang dapat gawan, anong nuka rin puntalan mo na ding at syukin passport, at saka ka mag-selfie, kay ba't kanta palto making tourism office, at mamyelang sticker ka rin ega na ganang apuntulan mong lugar. At timong may ngari ang tutong passport. Balong yung eni, panahon na yun eh, eh tamo makain bisa lumal, uli na ng COVID-19 pandemic. Kaya naman kimbanwa nga yun eh, agkatan ko na ding bikers tamo, edad 18 hanggang 50, imbis na lumaot kayo po, di na nyo lang dita ka oras di kaya katamong heritage structures, kaya ni Shuda. Anya naman ka rin mumunang 50 bikers ang makayari kaya katamong heritage passport, may di na lang premium only San Fernando loot bag. Gawan nyo mo bakit na makapag-register, munta kayo mismo opisina na ng City Tourism, yung munisipyo, at saka kayo magdalang metong valid ID. Kabila ng kaya kayong heritage passport, ating makasipit ang instruction nung nano pa yung dapat gawan. Anya naman ka rin hanggang kapadyak, Ken. Nanano ko pa. Tara na! Fernandino Teens TV Welcome back to Fernandino Teens TV Season 2 As students use clues to solve puzzles, they must make comparisons, analyze attributes, find associations, use visual and verbal discrimination, and form logical patterns. This may be best illustrated in the example. Yogurt is to soft as candy is to blank. The answer is hard. An analogy is simply a comparison between two things. In this way, it is similar to simile and metaphor. We use analogies all the time informally. In conversations, when we compare one situation to another, we are using an analogy. Let us ponder on the following pointers on making analogies. Number one, the only way to become better at verbal analogies is through practice. This is our goal for today. I will provide you more sets of activities that will make you a better analogy solver. Number two, try to determine the relationship between the first pair of words. Also, turn the analogies into sentences. Read the analogy problems as sentences even if they are not actually written that way. Number four, go through top problems systematically. Take note of all the tips and steps on how to solve an analogy. Lastly, read all of the answer choices first before making a decision. 
This might sound obvious, but candidates commonly stop reading the answer choices once they have found what seems like a strong match. Here is your next dare. Let us take task number three. The goal is the same. Supply other words or expressions that complete the analogy. Number one, blank is to barber as chalk is to teacher. What must be the relationship involved? A. Antonyms B. Object and its user C. Synonyms The answer is letter B. Object and its user What will complete the analogy? A. Hair color B. Scissors C. Trimming You must be correct. The analogy is read, Scissors is to barber as chalk is to teacher. It is time to bring out your dictionary because the next items have high-sounding words. Are you ready? Number two, is starvation is to hunger as blank is to fear. Identify the relationship of the analogy. A. Degree of intensity. B. Things and their function. C. Part the whole relationship. That is terrific! It is letter A. Degree of intensity. What about the analogy? A. Deprivation. B. Dread. C. Exultant. Let us see if you got it right. Is starvation is to hunger as dread is to fear. You are doing great so far. Here is your item number three. Joke is to hilarity as blank is to relief. What must be the relationship involved? A. Implied relationships B. Cause and effect relationship C. Descriptive relationship It is B. Cause and effect relationship You are sensational! Let us unlock the analogy now A. Those B. Labor C. Is nude That was really quick. The answer is A. Those. Number four. Warm is to hot as old is to blank. What must be the relationship involved? A. Degree of intensity. B. Things and their function. Or C. Part to whole relationship. It's letter A, degree of intensity. Warm is to hot, as old is to blank. A, antic. B, history. C, oldest. D, years. Did you answer antic? Fantastic! This time, I am going to read the second item. Number five. Leg is to knee as arm is to blank. What is the relationship involved? A. Synonyms B. Antonyms C. Whole to part or D. Things and their function The answer is C. Whole to part Next, leg is to knee as arm is to blank. What will complete the analogy? Is it letter A, bone? B, elbow? C, joint? Or D, wrist? The analogy is leg is to knee as arm is to elbow. That is awesome! Third item. 
Knife is to blank as scissors is to hairdresser. Identify the relationship in the analogy. A. Antonyms. B. Object and its user. C. Synonyms. Or D. Cause and effect. Letter B. Object and its user. Blank is to knife as hairdresser is to scissors. What will complete the analogy? A. Advertiser B. Butcher C. Dish D. Sea Creatures The analogy is Butcher is to knife as hairdresser is to scissors. You are doing a good job, guys! Time to bring out your dictionary, dear students. Number seven, law breaking is to blank as inattention is to blunders. Identify the relationship in the analogy. A, cause and effect. B, things and their function. C, part to whole relationship. D, antonyms. It's letter A, cause and effect. Law breaking is to blank, as inattention is to blunders. What will complete the analogy? A. Company B. Disruption C. Penance D. Villains What is the answer? You are learning fast. The analogy is, law breaking is to penance as inattention is to blunders. Do you still have your dictionary? Use it again for this last item and discover new vocabularies. Are you ready? What word will complete the analogy? A fund B. Sincere C. Sociable or D. Vigorous The complete analogy is Joyful is to elated as fond is to doting you really worked hard today! Did you get all the items correctly? I will serve you right away task number 4. Do a thumbs up if the statement is correct or thumbs down if otherwise. Number 1. Analogy is about a thing which is comparable to something else in significant respect. Is it thumbs up? You are right! Number 2 An analogy is a comparison of two things to highlight their differences. Did you answer thumbs down? You are doing great! An analogy actually highlights the similarities of two ideas. Number 3 Analogical reasoning is fundamental to human thought. Did you do a thumbs up? Fantastic! Number 4. Analogies involve problem-solving contact. Fabulous! It's a thumbs up. We only use analogies in academic setting. It is thumbs down for this. You have just learned how to use clues to solve puzzles by making comparisons, analyzing attributes, finding associations, using visual or verbal discrimination, and forming logical patterns. 
more of how a knowledge has shaped our thoughts when Fernandino Teens TV Season 2 returns. Hindi lamang sa larangan ng pangkabuhayan apektado ang maraming pamilyang Pilipino, kundi maging sa larangan ng pagkatuto ng bawat batang Pilipino. Inilunsad ng siyudad ng San Fernando ang programa Nurturing Environment and System for Thriving or NEST, isang education community pantry na naglalayon para sa isang malawakang pagtulong, pagtabay at paggabay na ang focus ay ang makapagbigay ng tulong at suporta sa ating mga mag-aaral sa pamamagitan ng pagbibigay ng educational needs gaya na lamang ng school supplies, tutorial sessions, study tips, at iba pang mga pamamaraan na mas lalong makatutulong sa pag-angat ng ating edukasyon. Dahil hindi hadlang ang pandemya sa magandang kinabukasang naghihintay sa ating mga mag-aaral. Sino-sino nga ba ang mga kalahok sa programang ito? Sa pagtutulungan ng ating school administrators, guro, magulang, at iba pang mga miyembro ng ating komunidad gaya ng barangay officials at sangguniang kabataan ay siguradong magiging mas matagumpay ang programang ito. Paano nga ba ang magiging proseso ng naturang programa? Una, magkakaroon tayo ng isang Facebook group, ang Pampanga High School Nest Education Community Pantry na pangungunahan ng Educational Pantry Coordinator. Ang mga magulang, tagapangalaga at mga guro ay ia-add ng ating Educational Pantry members sa Facebook group na ito. Sa page na ito, maaaring i-post ng mga magulang at tagapangalaga o sino mang miyembro ng Educational Pantry ang kanilang mga kahilingan o requests. Kailangan ding ilagay ang pangalan ng mag-aaral, grade at section para sa mas agarang aksyon. Oo nga pala, hindi lang requests ang pwedeng i-post. Pwede rin mag-post ang mga nais magbigay ng tulong o mga gustong mag-donate. Sabi nga nila, sharing is caring. Pandaan na ang Facebook group na ito ay pribado at posts na may kaugnayan lamang sa page na ito ang maaaprobahan. Mayroon din palang Google Form na ipamamahagi kung saan maaari nating isumite ang ating requests o kahilingan. Paano naman ang mga walang internet access sa bahay? Huwag mangamba dahil merong mga nakalaang drop boxes ang ating paaralan na kung saan maaaring ihulog ng mga magulang at tagapangalaga ang kanilang requests. Sa mga nais namang mag-donate ng school supplies, maaaring ilagay ang mga ito sa tabi ng drop boxes. Maaari ring mag-donate ng mga kagamitan o cash donation kaakibat ang pagsusumite ng deed of donation form. Pangalawa, mahalaga ang ugnayan ng mga guro at ng mga magulang o tagapangalaga sa programang ito. Gamit ang video calls o chats ay ipahahayag ng mga guro ang adhikain ng programang ito sa mga magulang o tagapangalaga. Maaari ring gawin ang orientation na ito ng face-to-face -face, kasabay ng schedule ng kuhanan ng mga module. Gaya ng nabanggit, hindi lamang mga bagay ang maaaring i-donate. Pwede ring mag-conduct ng tutorial session, study tips, at iba pang mga kagamitan sa pagkatuto gayat ng mga aklat o kaya ay gadgets. Ikatlo, ang requested needs ng ating mga magulang o tagapangalaga ay ililista ng ating nest focal person. Ang mga coordinator naman ang mag-aayos ng mga ito. Ang advisors ng ating mga mag-aaral, guidance counselor, at iba pang mga guro ay ipaaalam sa ating mga magulang at tagapangalaga ang petsa at oras ng pamimigay ng requested needs na gaganapin sa paaralan. Sabi nga nila, it takes a village to raise a child. 
Kaya naman aktibo at iba yung pakikilahok ang inaasahan sa pagsasanib puwersa ng paaralan at barangay na siyang tutukoy sa pangangailangan ng bawat Fernandinong mag-aaral at kikilos upang matugunan ito sa tulong at suporta rin ng mga miyembro ng komunidad. Isang malawakang komunidad para sa isang produktibong educational community pantry ay tiyak na lilikha ng iba yung pagkilos upang maging mas magaan at madali ang pagkatuto ng bawat kabataang Fernandino. Kaya naman tandaan, magbigay ayon sa kakayahan, kumuha ayon sa pangangailangan. Fernandino Teens TV You are still tuned in to Fernandino Teens TV Season 2 I am truly excited to end this lesson with our final challenge This is coming along nice Here is now your task number 5 Supply other words or expressions that complete the analogy. Open your dictionary again. Kindly read item number one. Blank is the strict, as comedian is the humorous. A. Languid. B. Martinet. C. Commentator. D. Artist. Did you answer Martinet? Did you use the dictionary to find the meaning of the difficult words? Fantastic! You did it right again! A Martinet is a strict disciplinarian like a warden. 2. Geologist is to rock as blank is to fish. A. Producer B. Engineer C. Ichthyologist the composer. The analogy is geologist is to rock as ichthyologist is to fish. Ichthyology is the branch of biology devoted to the study of fishes. That is awesome! Third item. Sad is to blank as a sprinkle is to downpour. A. Doleful B. Relaxed C. Composed D. Blizzard The analogy is Sad is to doleful as a sprinkle is to downpour You are doing a good job, guys! Number 4 Blank is to trusting as ecstatic is to delighted This time, I am giving you a clue on its relationship it is about synonyms. A. Overjoyed B. Rambling C. Credulous D. Phenomenal What is the answer? You are learning fast. The answer is credulous, which means having or showing too great a readiness to believe things and the term is synonymous to the idea of trusting. Do you still have your dictionary? Use it again for this last item and discover new vocabularies. Are you ready? 5. Blank is too cowardly as vivid is too dull. A. Fearful B. Grandiose C. Bright D. Plucky Did you answer Plucky? Plucky is the antonym of cowardly. You really worked hard today. Let us do a wrap up. When you worked with analogies, you expand and deepen your vocabulary. You understand the relationships between ideas and words. Also, 
you recognize and understand multiple meaning words. You think critically and apply logical reasoning. You learn to decipher word meanings based on context. And you build a network of understanding that improves retention and aids future learning. Analogies are comparisons made in an argument to help prove a point. You may be arguing about one thing, but you put it in the terms of another to help people to see it in a different light. For example, getting into your car to drive a few hundred meters to the corner shop is as ridiculous as hopping that distance. Both are clumsy, grossly inefficient, and enough to make a laughing stock. A well-judged analogy can be really helpful. It can help people to think outside the box of the cognitive models they are in the habit of using and bring in the imagination to allow them to consider their experience in a more open way. However, it is also very easy to dismiss a poorly applied analogy. The problem is that there will be always dissimilarities as well as similarities between the two things being compared so it is very easy just to latch onto the dissimilarities and use them as an excuse to dismiss the argument if you are a bit resistant to it in the first place. So when you come across an analogy, it helps to think clearly about what the analogy is being used to support and what sorts of relevant similarities and dissimilarities there are. The analogy may be also need to be seen in a wider context, as there may be counter-arguments based on strong dissimilarities that just are not being considered. Here is what I hope is a useful checklist. What is the analogy trying to show? Is the analogy relevant to what it is trying to show? What are the relevant similarities? What are the relevant dissimilarities? Are the assumptions being made about the things being compared correct? Are there other important dissimilarities that are not being taken into account? An atom is exactly like a solar system or a bunch of balloons smashed together. The brain is like clockwork or more like steam works or it is like a computer and the computer is actually like a brain these are all descriptions about matters we try to explain through comparison it is indeed true that we use analogies all the time and mostly we think nothing of it but our ability to make connections to think different things could be the secret behind our brains turning raw information into thoughts. This is how analogies shape our thoughts. Meanwhile, here are the references used for today's webinar. Learn everything you can. Anytime you can, there will always come a time when you will be grateful for what you did. Ever tried? Ever failed? No matter. Try again until you feel better. This time, kindly give three emoticons on how you feel after discovering how analogies shaped our thoughts. Wow! You must have answered happy, contented, and satisfied this time. Once again, this has been your English teacher, Mamaida De La Torre, leaving you with a quote, All the world is a laboratory to the inquiring mind by Martin Fisher. Be always ready to learn. A bundak of thanks for watching Fernandina Teens TV Season 2.
Ganun pala yun, no? Ang analogy ay ang pagsusuri at paghahambing ng dalawang bagay na magkaugnay. Magkapareho, magkatumbas, o may katangi ang maaaring pagtularan. Tama ka dyan, Fer. Tinatawag din ito sa lingwistika at panitikan na pagbuwangis. Masaya palang gawin ang mag-ugnay ng mga bagay o ideya na magkaiba ang konsepto. Kung ang analogy ay gumagamit ng lohika sa isang argumento, marapat pala natawagin ko itong matalinong paghahampi. Ang dami na naman nating natutuhan sa araw na ito. Kaya naman... Maraming salamat, ma'am. Sana namang makabuluhang talakayan ang ating natukayan, Fernandino T. Magkita-kita tayong muli sa susunod na episode ng... Fernandino... TV Season 2 Na kung saan ang kabataang Perlandino ay angat sa angking tali. Oh, bagong umaga Yakapin mo ang bagong pag-asa Simulan mong abutin ang iyong pangarap Na magbibigay danga sa iyong bukas Ang suliranin Hindi laging nandyan dapat mong Harapin kami iyong kasama sa bawat takin Magkaakbay natin lulutasin Dito sa Fernandino Teens TV Ang boses mo ay mahalaga Dito sa Fernandino Teens TV Ikaw lagi ang bida Na siyang gagabay sa iyong pagkamulat Naway umukit ito sa iyong isipan Maging mapanuri Sundin ang wasto at nararapat Kagandahang nasal ang ipa